are joined here for a special occasion. Today is episode 14, but it is the final episode. And today, I'm welcomed with Billy Starling to have a little bit of a reflection, a little bit of a recap on the year that has been 2023, and to the year that we have dedicated some 200 days, seven hours a day, 1,400 hours of schoolwork, of communication, of feelings, actions, and memories. So welcome, Billy. Thank you for having me, Seb. Um, yeah, it's absolutely delightful to be in here. Really proud of the work that Mr. Ritson and all the maintenance crews put in to make it look like this. Um, I'd also like to thank Mr. O'Connell and Miss Munro yeah. for the awesome effort they've put into making this jumper because, um, yeah, it was a bit harder than we thought it was going to be, but it's absolutely delightful, I think. Turned out a treat, wouldn't you say, Seb? An absolute treat, Billy. You could have not used better words for it. It looks absolutely marvellous. And the guy, Billy Starling, that came up with it, what a great initiative, a great new tradition. And uh, we might see a time in 20 years' time where we have 20 jumpers lined up on this uh, Billy Starling wall, I think it's fair to call it now. Oh, talk it up, Seb. But uh, that would be just absolutely phenomenal, I think, if we just saw the common room wall lined with jumpers. It would just be a great piece of history. Mm. And, Billy, in these, in these counting down hours... In the remaining seconds, is there any more duties that entail you to leave this everlasting legacy on the lands of Torrent Park, on the lands of Scotch College? Yeah, there is actually. So Molly and I have been fairly busy this week. We've been working uh, with Tom and Zoe to sort of make sure that the handover process is as effortless as possible and make sure that they, you know, get a running start at the year of 2024. And we just sort of encourage them to give it a go this term because, you know, you're still, it's not quite as important as next year, I guess. So just have fun, enjoy it, um, figure out what works for you, what doesn't, and really make it your own. Um, I think that's something we also try to tell the cohort this year. Just make it your own, enjoy it, um, take it serious but not too serious, and yeah. And when you use the term, make it your own, what does that mean? Can you elaborate on that and give us a bit more fulfilment, a bit more meaning to that phrase? Yeah, we think here we've been provided with many opportunities. Um, we've been very fortunate. Like you, you've started a podcast and you've really made that your own, Seb. You know, you've really grown and expanded. You've got, we're episode 14 today, Seb, you know. 14. Think about that. In a few years, we could be episode 100. Oh. And you could be like, wow, I started year that. Year 7 you know. Ned. Exactly. Mm. Year 7 Ned. Oh, that was a good episode last week I watched. Oh, it was very enjoyable. But, yeah, we just really um, encourage everyone to make it their own and enjoy, have an impact, especially, like, mm. make those small connections, say hi as you walk past someone in the yard. And, yeah, so we've been provided with many great opportunities. I hope everyone's really um, jumped on and ta- made the best of Absolutely, Bill. And uh, Billy, when we look at a clear highlight, what's been a clear highlight maybe for you this year? Clear highlight? Um, I reckon our formal was a fair highlight. That was that day was just a great day. You know, we went out to Trinity, the twos got up. That was yeah. the start of something great for us. Um, and then the formal was just, yeah, really nice night, really good time. Um, yeah, I think it was just really good to see everyone come together as one. It was sort of how Molly and I really envisioned it going, which was delightful. Excellent. Well, thanks for coming on, Bill. I reckon it's time to get someone else on here. But I think so. Uh, it's been a privilege to have you on board the episode today. No, thank you for having me. Double A, double A, come up. So now I'm joined by Double A, also known as AKA Amy Abbott, which is in the studio today. And Amy, as you would know, because you're an active listener to the Scotch Podcast, we're at episode number 14 today, oh, and it is the final. Ep- thank you. It's the final episode today. I've Aww. been bombarded with uh, presents and gifts, and you name it. They've just been on my table all today in my office. But Amy. There is only some 84,000... Oh, Ned! Ned! Come here, come here, Ned. Ned, come in, come in, come in. This is great. Anyways, Amy. Yes? What has been a clear highlight for you and what's something that you're really going to miss about Scotch when you leave the gates in a couple of days' time? Okay, this is really random, but all of my friends over here, we were just talking about this just then. You can't... Like, it's not normal to just wear your hair in a ponytail and wear it with a ribbon. Like, that's just not normal. And now I can never do that again and I'm really sad about it. Mm. I, I would love to say, Amy, I can really relate to that, but oh. unfortunately I cannot. Is there anything that you want to do in the next couple of days that can leave the everlasting legacy of Double A on Scotch College? Um, well, something that's been engraved into our heads since being at Scotch is to get involved with everything. So the next few days are celebration for us here 12, so I think just getting involved in everything is something that I need to do and that everyone should do. Do you agree? I absolutely agree, Amy. I reckon it's very wisely spoken from Double A today. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. And uh, feel free to head off. Ned, come over. Oh, Ned, how are you, mate? I'm great. 
How great is this? You know, we never probably thought we'd see Ned back on the podcast for maybe six years, but he's been walked past the studio today, so we thought we'd call him. So, Ned, who are you going to miss most from the Year 12, uh, year 12 leaving lot this year? Oh, not you. <laughs> I'm kidding, you know. no, you, you a lot. I'm just kidding. Um, Jack Bushel as well. Oh, Jack Bushel. Yep. Um, Joel. Joel. Always been fun. We're just playing basketball against him. Aww. And our net sessions. And our net sessions. That's mm-hmm. my boy. Anyway, see you, mate. Have a see good one. Out. See you later. Who's next? Give Mr. A. Mr. A. Mr. A. Mr. A. No, my, my favorite moment with the year 12 will be uh, like every year on Friday, everybody's going to cry and pout and scream. And, and go to the like, end. Yeah, feel like it's the end and nobody's going to ever see anybody again and say goodbyes and then on Monday we'll just see each other again and it'll be just like nothing ever happened. So a bit of briefing here on the Scotch Podcast in our 13 episodes. Mr. A's episode, episode number nine, was actually the 12th um, most popular, so the second least popular episode <laughs> And um, what do you think that says about your character, your personality, and how maybe humorous and funny you are and entertaining towards the wider Scotch audience? Well, seeing as that's about your uh, rank in the social structure at Scotch, you should know exactly how I feel. Fair enough. And, um, <laughs> and socks today, do you want to maybe explain the idea behind your, what are they? They're pickles. Pickles, why are you wearing pickles today? In the early 1960s, there was a, a, a singer named Arlo Guthrie. Do you remember Arlo Guthrie, or, or are you not that old? And he used to sing a song, I don't want a pickle, I just want to ride on my motorcycle. And so it's, it's an Arlo guthrie theme songs. And they said, I don't want to die, I just want to ride on my motorcycle. Alrighty, that's enough. <laughs> and uh, Mr. A, in these closing days, is there maybe a quote that you could leave the Year 12s with as they journey out of the protected gates of Scotch College? Absolutely, don't blanch up life. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you for coming on. Hopefully we get a few more views than uh, episode number nine. Beautiful. Cheers. So now we're joined with Annabelle and Lily and we are reflecting with the countdown on only 84,600 seconds to go until the final countdown is on here at Scotch College after, f- Shh, yes it is, after 13 years of education, after 200 days each and every year for 13 years, 2,600 days, can filled up with seven hours a day, so 26 times that by seven gets you to some, oh, who knows how many hours, but Annabelle, how are you feeling as you approach the finish line of schooling? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you for your commentary. Um, I don't know. It's a bit like this like, way. You want to talk into it? <laughs> oh, is it an actual it's microphone? An actual <laughs> microphone. <laughs> oh, I just thought it was like for sex, like paraphernalia. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I think it. <laughs> no pressure. Um, I think, yeah, it's a bit sad that my schooling's coming to an end, but excited for the. The next chapter of our lives. And what is the next chapter of your lives that entails? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> Plans next yeah. year? Uni. Uni? What, yep. what course at uni? Emergency nursing. Oh. And then some travel. And then. Where are you going to travel? Europe. Europe? What part of Europe? The Baltic states? <laughs> go, visit, go visit Lily. <laughs> Thanks, Lila. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I didn't get that one. Yeah, I know um, you didn't. Because you don't do stage two history. <laughs> okay. Bad decision. And then, yeah, see where life takes me. Nice. And Lily, what are your plans next year? Um, I'm not going to uni, actually. I'm going to take a gap year. Oh, a gap year. And where are you going to go on this gap year? <laughs> I'm going to Italy, actually. Italy? I'm au pairing, so I'm going to look after some children, see how that goes. Um, and then I'll come back and see if I'm motivated enough to go to uni. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's all I've, that's nice. where I've got. And is there any sort of thing or factor or is there any... Uh, such, yeah, after. Is there any such uh, thing that we've got to do in the next couple of days to leave this sort of legacy Annabelle on Scotch College? Maybe in Celebration Day, or is there any ideas and plans? Um, I think it's just really important to thank your teachers for the, the, pa- the past <laughs> few so years. And just like, you know, these are our final days with them, and so don't take them for granted and appreciate them. And, and yeah. And what are some ways we could say thank you to our teachers? Just express your gratitude, I don't know, write them And how can we express our (laughs) gratitude? I was getting to there. Um, Like writing them a nice card or just like saying thanks in person. Or sending them an email or something. Can I ask my question, Tina? Yes, you may. How's Gondola? (laughs) Gondola is superb. She is uh, over home in Port Lincoln on the beautiful seawater breeze there. She's having lovely strolls along the beachside. And yeah, she is absolutely perfect. I actually have... 
I say she's about to go and have puppy. But what I've done is you can buy these now trackers from which you put on the collar, so I can go on my phone and I can like find my phone but find my dog. Does the podcast know who Gondola is? Uh, to some extent. Gondola is my oh, Annabelle, you no, go. You got it. Yeah. Gondola's Seb's racing dog that um has he has he done you well? She? Or, or she? She, she yes. um has sort of failed. I wouldn't say failed. Um, Gondola was my um, dog that was. we no no she's still my dog she's my pet she was my pet and she was a racing racing dog and she was a she was quite successful she won a couple city races uh, she was quite speedy she ran in the John Gray final she was quite a quite a good dog and I had some fun and then she um had a fall one night and uh, yeah she's living with my parents and uh, yeah over in Port Lincoln and then she's gonna go breed and have some babies and um, yeah but. She's my pet. Yeah, I love her. Love the um, gond. Why do you have to track her? <laughs> just to make sure she's safe. Just okay. to make sure, you know, she doesn't escape. Does she run away? Oh, not really. But she could. She's very quick, okay. Lily. She's very quick. <laughs> Who else is fun? Why do you get worried about the experience of being the man? Oh, yes, Warren. Great idea. Come on. A, criti a critical part, for the, uh, a critical part of the Scotch podcast has not only been myself, but <laughs> but it has been, uh, but it has been Warren. It has been is his hard work, his dedication, his hours of editing, some of my mistakes, even though there is not often any. But anyways, uh, Warren, what's it been like to be working with a top tier podcaster like myself, like myself? Real learning experience, I'd say, Seb. Um, I think my favourite part was when you spent the first eight episodes trying to get everybody that was a guest to call you inspirational in some way. I was convinced you were going to get someone to do it, but you couldn't even... Year 7 Ned, I thought, was the best shot, but uh, no good. It's been a lot of fun. Um, not as much editing as you think. Uh, I hear you're a bit of a cult figure around the footy field. How's that going for you? I wouldn't say a cult figure, but, um, you know, just I love the podcasting and, you know, you know, Warren, we're getting millions of views on, you know, TikTok, millions of views on YouTube, you know, we're just blowing up all over internet. I think we might even be on, maybe even on the Gale website. So really the evolution of the podcast is a massive credit to you and a massive credit to, you know, the college. And do, you, do you find you've become more popular now that you've got TikTok clout or no? Mm. I would love to say that all comments are positive, but today, however, I've heard a few that were not so positive. But you know what, Warren, I wake up each morning Sometimes with a smile on my face. Sometimes I might go to bed with a grudge on my face, but I love putting the blazer on. I love having the mic in, mic in my hands, and I love going out there and getting out there and um, finding people that talk me up. Yeah. Who's been your favourite guest? My favourite guest? Probably Billy and Molly. Yeah, Billy yeah. and Molly are good value. Yeah, Billy and Molly probably been my favourite. Um, year 7 Ned was good fun. Um, Mr Ray, even though he tried really hard and spoke for 18 out of the 19 minutes of that episode, he, um, he let himself down that day, but that's okay. Podcasting's not for him, and lucky he went to uni and became a history teacher. Do you think there's going to be an independent Seb Hendo podcast in the future? Uh, I don't think so. Um, my phone is it, number is, my this, phone is this available it? on the YouTube website, so if any of the uh, radio companies or anyone wants to give me a call, uh, let me know. I'm sure we can negotiate a contract. Um, but yeah, absolutely, I'd be keen. I'm just hoping we're going to be able to get more guests with the new hosts without you involved, Seb. Yeah, easy. What are we going to do? Yeah, I, the, pod, the podcast is in a good stead. Uh, it's prospering, we're growing, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes when I'm not there. And hopefully instead of getting 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 viewers, maybe it can become 5, 6, 7, 800, 900 viewers. Warren, that's where we're going. We're progressing. We're playing with an infinite mind instead of Simon Sinek. <laughs> And I'm just uh, so proud and so honoured to be a part it's of it. It's definitely going to happen. I've had a lot of fun. It's been fun. The neon Scotch Lion has to feature more strongly with our new set. Uh, I've loved being involved. It was a great idea. Sophie's going to carry it next yes. year. It'll be fun. Well done, Sophie. Nice. Thank you, Warren. You're very welcome. Awesome. Have fun editing this episode. Oh, cool. The time has come. Stumps has been called. It is only 1.52. But as we approach the deadline, as we approach the closing seconds, it has been an honour, it has been a privilege, and I must, even though it hurts me inside, I must say goodbye. Through 14 episodes, through blood, sweat and tears, through emotion, through passion, 
for your excitement and bloopers, I must say goodbye. So thank you, like and subscribe, leave me a positive comment, hopefully not a negative comment. But even if you do, that's okay, because as Jack Bushell famously said, honesty is the best policy. Thank you, and see you later. Yeah.